Hello everybody, welcome to Chemistry Concept and today we will be discussing about the oxygen family in p block elements and so first of all what's the elements in the oxygen family is coming so in oxygen family we having oxygen so these are the oxygen family elements so in oxygen family we having the first will this uh, talk about the properties so first property is melting and boiling point and the order is like h2o having highest melting and boiling point then selenium and selenium and then sulfur H2O is having more melting and boiling point because H2O form can form hydrogen bonding and which increases the melting and boiling point and telenium having high size because of that it having high melting and boiling point same as for self selenium and sulfur so melting and boiling point increases with hydrogen bonding and size of central atom and for the second properties we having the volatile nature of its hydride so second property we having volatility of hydrides H2O, H2TE, H2SC and H2S. This is the volatility nature of this hydride of oxygen family elements. H2S is highly volatile and we come to water it is less volatile as compared to others. This form in you know if you are going to take the liquid form of H2S is directly convert to the vapors of H2S very highly volatile and this follow this this trend and next is the thermal stability so the thermal stability follow the trend of the H2O is most stable H2S then H2SC and then H2TE this is directly proportional to the electronegativity and the fourth property we having the reducing nature of hydrides so H2S the least reducing agent as compared to H2SC then H2T because down the group producing nature increases in this oxygen family and for the fifth property we will talking about the acidic strength in the fifth we having the acidic strength so which one is the most acidic H2T is the most acidic then H2SC then H2 H2S then H2O this is the acidic strength as size of central atom is going to increase the acidic strength is also going to increase central atom this rule this rule is for hydro acid hydro acid for this hydro acid oxo acid I already talked in my last videos so for that you should prefer my last videos and this sixth property we will be talking about the covalent character covalent character so H2T is more covalent as compared to H2SC as compared to H2S and further H2O because the electron activity is going to increase from telenium to oxygen so the electron activity difference is also going to increase so what happens this molecule having less electron active difference so it is less covalent 
and now we'll be talking about the bond angle and all. so in h2o the bond angle is more as compared to h2s as compared to h2sc and as compared to h2te bond angle here bond angle is 104 degree and here it's 92 degree and here is 91 degree and it's 90 degree so it's going to decreasing and this decreasing is because of suppose in water we having this and sulfur we having this so electronegativity is going to decrease and because of this electronegativity suppose is having more electronegativity so this hydrogen electron will be somewhere here and oxygen electron will be here near to oxygen so because of this lone pair lone pair repulsion more in case of h2 and less lone pair lone pair repulsion in case of h2te so it having less bond angle and this bond angle is basically changing because of this lone pair lone pair repulsion in these molecules so in next property we having the stability of the dioxides so we having so2 is more stable as compared to teo2 as e O2 and PO2 and moving ahead we'll see the acidic character of oxide is also following acidic character of is directly proportional to the electronegativity of central atom so as the electronegativity of the central atom is going to increase so the acidity of oxide is also going to increase for example this is the oxidase uh, this is the acidic character or the acidic strength you can see the order is following the uh, electronegativity trends and then we having one another the dime this oxygen we having the bonding of oxygen O2 it is bonded with double bond here and we having lone pairs this you know this is the everything in life then we having the ozone this having bent structure this having bent structure you may be surprised that O8 is known and this is very st uh, this is stable also and used in rocket fuel and the structure of O8 is like you know this cube, cube we have now so this oxygen is at each corner corner is containing with oxygen This is the structure of O8, where the oxygen is at the corners. Thank you for watching videos. Don't forget to subscribe our videos. Thank you.